Good morning, room one. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Say it with me. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Before we practice writing it in our journals, we are going to go into our blue folders to get everything out that we need for today. So from your blue folders today, you are going to need the um, clipped bunch of papers that have day two, week three written on them. And it also has your little bundle of letters for making words today, uh, since it's Toggle Tuesday. Okay, so have that out, have your journal out, have your fluency pa passage out because we'll practice that again. And then for math today, let me double check my plans. For math today, we are going to do lesson four. Okay, lesson four and the check my progress. So it's four pages total. One, two, three, and then this page, check my progress, four. Rip those off and put them in your pile for things for today. And then lesson five is going to go back with everything that's still with lesson five and behind it, lesson six and so on, back into your folder for uh, the rest of the week, okay? So that's what we need for today. And once you have all of that stuff out, go ahead and get your journal ready at the next page and we will practice writing the date. All right, today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Let's write it. Capital T, U, E, S, D, A, Y, comma, space, capital A, P, R, I, L, space, 28, comma, space, 2020. The abbreviated version is four because April is the fourth month of the year, dash 28, because the 28th day of the month is today, dash 20, the 20th year of this century. All right, excellent. Now today, I thought, you know what? We're gonna get ourselves ready for writing Wednesday today. And we are going to write our topic sentence and our concluding sentence for our writing um, by practicing it in our journal. Our big question this week is how the weather affects us. And so rather than writing about how it affects us, I wanna write about our favorite kind of weather. So I want you to think for just a second, what is your favorite kind of weather? Um, we did talk about this a little bit when we talked about spring and we talked about it a little bit when we talked about fall. Um, there's so many great things about each season. Okay. Every season has awesome things. So fall is my favorite. Remember we would talk about Halloween and drinking apple cider and picking out pumpkins and um, getting everything decorated and ready and all the colors of the leaves changing. That's my favorite season. Um, but we're not talking about seasons. We're talking about weather. The other reason I like fall is because the weather starts to get cooler and it goes down from the 100 degree weather we get in the summer down into the 70s and 80s and it gets a little bit more, um, yeah, a little cooler, a little nicer. Uh, some people love winter because they really like snowy weather and they like to play in the snow. Um, other people like spring because winter got so cold and it gets a little warmer, um, but it's also very windy in spring. So do you like windy weather? And then in summer, we have hot weather, um, really, really warm weather, but that warm weather makes it so we can go swimming and play in the sprinklers and do a lot of fun water games and eat ice cream. So I want you to think of your favorite weather because that is what you're going to be writing about tomorrow but we're gonna get started today, okay? So pick which one you like, hot, cold, snow, rain, wind, um, warm, cool. What kind of weather do you like? Okay, get that in your, your brain and we're gonna get back to our journal. All right, we'll start it with my favorite kind of weather is blank, period. In that blank, you are going to write hot weather, cold weather, windy weather, uh, stormy weather, snowy weather, okay? Um, so is blank, you can either do, depending on the word, um, you can write weather at the end of it too if you need to, okay? I know for mine, I'm probably gonna need to write the word weather again. So my favorite kind of weather is blank weather, okay? Whatever kind is your favorite. All right, 
And then remember when we do our writing, we make kind of like a hamburger where the bun is the topic sentence and the bottom bun is made of the same stuff and it's at the bottom, okay? So in, in the middle is all that important detail. So our topic sentence is this one about our favorite kind of weather. And our bottom one is gonna kind of repeat it just a little different. We're gonna say, um, blank weather, the same word that's in this blank it goes in this one. Blank weather is the best. And that's how we'll end our paragraph tomorrow. So we already have a big chunk of it done. So we're gonna use our journal tomorrow to copy out um, these sentences, okay? To make it a little easier. I'll share mine now with you. Whatever yours is, maybe you like hot weather, or cold weather, or snowy weather, or rainy weather, or windy weather. Um, I'm gonna put cool weather for mine. Okay, and then this one has to start with a capital letter, right? Because it's the beginning of this sentence. Cool weather is the best. But maybe, and I don't mean cool like, that's awesome. I mean cool like the temperature is a little lower. I like uh, cooler weather, okay? That's it for our journal today. If you haven't done your morning work yet, go ahead and tear it off of that packet. Um, actually, I don't think you have to. I think it's a paper clip this time. But go ahead and get that and get it done. And we will go over that next. All right, here's mine, all ready to go. Number one and two are both correcting the sentences. Number one says, my dad snores. We need a capital M. And is this an asking sentence or a telling sentence? It's a telling sentence, we get a period. My dad snores. Dad is not capitalized because dad is not a proper noun, okay? My dad snores, period. Number two, did you knock on the door? Did you knock on the door? Capital D. I hope you noticed that silent letter in that knock word, the K is silent, on the door. Is this a period or a question mark? A question mark. This is an asking sentence. Did you knock on the door? Question mark. Awesome. This one, I hope you guys were able to do this one on your own. Um, this one wanted you to correct the date. It's missing some punctuation and some capital letters. So the A should have been capitalized and we should have a comma after the six. Capital A, P, R, I, L, six, comma, space, 2020. Very good. Now this one wants you to write the compound words. Now this is more to see if you remember what a compound word even is, okay? Um, and then we're gonna be learning about them in a little bit more detail on Thursday. Uh, but this is a cow and a boy. And if you put the word cow with the word boy, what do you get? Cowboy. And it's all one word now. And if you put the foot and the ball together, foot and ball, you get football which is a sport that some of you love, okay? All right, number five is asking, how many children are in your class? Now remember, we can't just write the number. We have 24 kids in our class. We can't just write that number. We need to write uh, a complete sentence and we can find all the words in here for the most part. There's only a couple changes, okay? So we're gonna write, there are, which is the only difference, there are, 24 children, okay, there's our sight word right there, in my class, okay? The word class is from up here as well, okay? R is right here, in. So a lot of the spelling that we often get stuck on, you can find the words in the sentence. Awesome job, Room 1. That's it for calendar. When you're ready, go ahead and click on that Language Arts link and we will get started on the next part of our day.